Welcome to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host of the day, <laughs> Todd Weisenbaker. Um, it is Thumpin' Thursday. Woo -woo! I'm definitely not filming a bunch in a row. This is actually a Thursday. <laughs> um, and we have a very cool bass that just walked through the door, so I don't even have the case for it. I know, they could see it. I don't know if it even had a case. Uh, it just got set up, but I haven't even put it out there yet. Um, but one of my all-time favorite instruments, as I play one every single day at home. Um, one of the only things I've purchased here was the almost exact same thing. So without further ado, caseless, a 1978 black Music Master bass. Okay, so from 71 to 81, it looks like a Mustang bass. It has, under here is a Strat pickup. Um, I believe that's the case with these. Um, but it is a 30 inch scale. It's so it's short scale offset body. Um, this one is a nice weight. These can be very heavy. They can be extremely heavy. I have one very heavy one and one very light one. This one is right in the middle and it's black. What do you, what more do I need to say? It's so um, cool. It's so cool. It's been played. Um, and it has kind of a beefy neck. Um, they're, you know, handmade. They're all kind of over the place, but this one has a nice beefy neck. Um, just got set up. Masa just set this up. Frets are in good shape. Um, we get asked about these a lot. We sell them immediately. This, we just happened to get, get it in today. Um, it's not yet on reverb, but... I just love I, all of this. Yeah, the one I have is also black but it, it chipped and kind of got a little more messed up you know there was like a sticker here at some point um but yes yeah, stomp it i played a 60s mustang bass for a very long time in a band and um i don't know i don't lose anything with the the pickup it does everything i've ever needed a bass to do cannot say enough good things about these um, call me a hipster or whatever, but these are my preferred bass always. Fender, Fender for life, first of all. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, Katie's got two of these. My wife, my wife. Um, yeah, I love it. If I didn't already have two at home, I would buy it. And um, I feel like it's gonna go quick. This one is priced well, and hit me up on Instagram or whatever if it's not on reverb yet because we're only in here for a minute um but yeah big fan of this guitar wish i could take it home can't keep them all um well but, you could yeah. you could take it up front though i could take it up <laughs> i will take it up front. all right i forgot i'm not gonna play it down here <laughs> all right let's go so this is guitar of the day todd's playing the 78 music master bass mm -hmm. And we've invited Brandon to come in to play a little acoustic to kind of uh, accompany him. This is a Martin, George Martin model, like the Beatles producer. And it's a very unusual guitar. It's got an M on the back. But going back to the bass, this is a rosewood neck, three quarter scale, just real easy to play. It's one of those things you gotta kinda, you, it's so easy to play, you t can tend to play too much on this. Thing, Absolutely, you know? it's kinda so, like a guitar. It's a fun little- Very easy um, to play. But it doesn't lack any, volume or anything like that or punch um right and so brandon we always keep a turban close by in case brandon starts going into some egyptian type of scale or something like that <laughs> that that's it yeah, right that's there it. you know let me go get the turban yeah, so, uh, right, yeah. Uh, we're gonna rock like an egyptian oh, oh my go. gosh or uh like a blues man i guess Take it away, Brandon. Oh, one, two, three.
best thing about these bases, in my opinion, is everything from here to here is very short. And just with your hand, no, not even touching any of the knobs, you can get it very bright or very muffled. Just working the tone that way. And it's offset, so it's comfortable, very comfortable sitting down. This one is about half the weight of the one I have at home. The one I have at home is about 12 pounds. This is uh, not actually six pounds, but it's a nice, very lightweight bass. And um, it's cool. Black, super cool. Like, yeah. vibey. So Brandon has a reward because- <laughs> Oh my God. The Egyptian thing. Uh, I'm gonna let him just look, since it's, you know, Corona time here, we're gonna let him just look at the Tom Petty hat. Uh, I get to Cause look at that, was, that was kind of cool. And uh, we've got his turban and the snake in the back room. Yeah. If he goes into that Middle Eastern kind of stuff, then we have to pull that stuff but out. But because I played blues, I get to look at Tom Petty's hat. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> play with restraint and taste. Restra restraint and taste. There All it right. Is. Tom Petty hat. Yeah. Anything else, Todd? Um, this one will be on Reverb soon. Hit me up if it's not there and you're interested. And uh, yeah, I endorse this one fully. All right. <laughs> Bye. Nineteen seventy-three Fender Jazz Bass. What's cooler than a black guitar? Nothing. A black bass guitar. Ooh. Ooh. Hit me. Come on. <laughs> That's a good point. We have 1959 Fender Slap Board P Bass refinished in black.